Hello everyone, Sean Kenny here playing some more God Us, and we just have a new 1.3 update that I'm having a look at. Uh, you will need to start your new game, uh, because it pretty much it changes the way a lot of things are working, so you're pretty much going to have to start out with a, a new, new map, so uh, that's what I've done here. Uh, I've left this as is just to initially to show you just the way settlements are now working. Uh, basically what they'll do is they'll double up the size of your houses. Well, every house, uh, except for those the smallest little houses, uh, those ones still only hold two people. But once you get up to the, the level two dwellings, they uh, get an extra level on them and they double the amount of people. Now I've just uh, decided to... We got to do a bit of rebuilding because we have a, a bunch of uh, new upgrades uh, as far as houses go. Uh, unfortunately, it does <laughs> has been crashing on me whenever I use Meteor fairly often. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. When I start it back up, it pretty much starts me where I left off. So it's it's saving everything. And that's fine. Um, and fire can be a little bit dangerous, but I'm clearing out this area because I have a lot more larger houses that are unlocked now and I just want to try and make my settlements as as efficient as possible so uh, unfortunately uh, a little meteor strike on our starting house or our starting town and uh, I'm just going to try and make a little break water there and I'm just going to go uh, on have a look uh, unfortunately the breakwater didn't work <laughs> as you can see it uh, did spread so I had to do a little bit more I, I cleared out a little bit more area than I thought um, as you can see at this point I, I have to make it up to 2100 people so um, that's what I did uh, but we do have storms now look storms uh, as you get this a little bit time passed people have built up so we have a lot larger houses uh, being a lot more efficient and get the next level and of unlocked farming. So we now have farms in the game. Uh, I'm just pointing out there, the, see those small little houses? Those are just two. Uh, they won't get doubled up in your settlement. You'll need uh, to have uh, larger houses that will be able to do that. But as you can see, uh, things have progressed. I got a little bit of um, uh, swamp there, but we're going to have to clear out some area for uh for our farms because um these guys are not they don't replace buildings with anything so uh the thing about the meter is it still it's it, i'm not quite sure exactly how it's supposed to work it seems to just go sometimes like that um but it's just fun metering things i, I did manage to get a couple meters off without it crashing this time uh, they do look good, I have to admit. Uh, I like the way the meteors look. It's going to be fun to play with. Uh, so once again, I'm just going to, uh, you know, just try making a breakwater and uh, to prevent fire from spreading because fire is spreading in this like it did in early Minecraft. Uh, ridiculously <laughs> a large amount. It, it will spread to anything. Anything close by, uh, before you know it, you could have a map on fire if you play around with this near the trees. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to try and seal off the area, and, and basically what I wanted to do was make an area outside the settlement in order to make farms on it. So that's why I thought this area would be pretty good. If you're looking at the uh, description, it says on the agriculture card, on the farming card, it does say that your people will work plots of land outside settlements. So I did spend, um, I did a lot of this uh, in that and, you know, trying to get that to work. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Right now, farms will only be made inside a settlement. So uh, as contrary to sort of what you'd, you'd normally expect is like you'd have all your big houses inside your settlement and then a ring of, of farms outside that people would work. Uh, right now, when you get to the farming area, it's going to pretty much be the other way. You're going to have your settlement, put as many farms in the settlement as you can, and then have houses around the outside. Because once you hit that 2100 population mark, things switch over. You get access to farming, and if you've unlocked that, then 
the your your population doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter how many people you got. All it is is you need to start collecting food. That's going to be your next uh, levels of, of getting cards, uh, the, the ways to upgrade. So right now, I need to get a thousand food. Now, of course, I don't have a single farm at this point. I'm just uh, clearing out some area to allow that to happen. So I think I got that kind of nicely blocked off, and we'll just let the fires uh, do their work, maybe... Uh, for the fun of it, throw in an extra meteor or something. If I can figure out how to get this to freaking click, uh, I don't know. It, it seems to go sometimes. It's kind of like a double click. Ah. Either way, when I try and double click, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it's like click and drag. I, I don't know. They need to fix that up a bit, I think, uh, with the meteor strike. I think they want to give it some s amount of direction, but. Um, probably just having a random direction and it just land where you click it would probably be the ideal way of going about this. So, a little bit of sacrifice of our guys. Uh, apparently the fire did, <laughs> did jump the river uh, in a lot of cases. I've noticed that a few times. Um, yeah, so it's, it's starting to burn up my entire village, which isn't good. Uh, need to try and prevent that. <laughs> So, uh, the other thing you can use, I think I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll switch to Finger of God here. They've uh, reduced the cost on that by quite a bit, um, and I'm just going to, I'm actually going to kill these guys because I don't want them to start building yet. Uh, that's one of the annoying things uh, about this whole situation is, is you don't really have much control on what you want your people to build, what them, to, you know, what you want them to be. Um, where, how you want to lay out your towns. It really is a whole lot of randomness. Uh, if you clear out space, your guys are just going to build, unless you can, you know, basically prevent them from building anything. And, and here I am basically just having to, to finger God everyone and basically kill my own people uh, just so they don't build everything up while I'm trying to get, you know, all this sorted out. So what they'll do is they'll build a whole bunch of small little houses when you're not, you know, I want to put in some big manor houses, some, some big farmhouses, uh, that kind of thing. And uh, it's, uh, see, that they're being really, then I'm going to have to realize that, yeah, it's just, it's time to get rid of these guys. They're just, they're just annoying me. We'll get new people eventually. They'll, they'll continue on. And so far, they're, the rest of those houses are burning down, so we'll have a lot of space here to start developing our farms. Uh, there's been uh, quite a few other changes. Now, one thing to keep in mind, when you are starting a new map, the they have taken away belief generation from the felt tents. So the first houses that you're going to start out with, they are... Uh, you, you, the only way you're going to get new belief early on is by clicking on tr rocks and trees. Now, once you st you'll fairly early get settlements and your initial houses, uh, your better construction, which will start generating belief, but uh, to get started, you're going to have to be clicking all those trees, rocks, to gather a bit of belief, to make enough land, to make houses, to get enough population, to get the next expansion card, to open up wood houses, right? That kind of thing. Now, I'm also having a look here at the Battle of the Gods events. Now, this has... The Battle of the Gods have seen quite a big improvement, I have to say. I like what they did here. Um, basically, they've really nerfed Finger of God in in the multiplayer, or I, I guess you wouldn't recall this multiplayer, but this battle map. Um, right now, like, the, the Finger of God is, doesn't do nearly as much damage. It's pretty much going to use, like, a full cast of Finger of God to kill one enemy building. You can use it and maybe clump down on a few enemy um, soldiers as they're coming in. But um, they've also changed it, so you, uh, there's now several different types of game modes. Now, the game modes existed before, but they usually always ended up devolving into a send all your guys over into the enemy sh uh, base to kill them. Uh, now there is a... The, the first couple missions you're going to play are population uh, games, so it's literally just get a bigger population before your enemy in the time limit. Now, the time limits have been 
severely re reduced, uh, generally about 10 minutes per game or so. So as in, this was a 10 minute game, so it's a lot faster. You have to be a, a lot more, you don't have time to sort of muck about and, and take your time doing whatever you want. Uh, you really do have to sort of pick it up. Now, I did have, um, in fact, the, the first one I ended up losing was uh, the level 8 mission. Um, the 8th one I did, it uh, it was so tight that I, I lost it a couple times and I had to uh, I had to, to redo it to, to end up winning. And what I found is from that point on um, where your time I think we had like 6 minutes in that in, in the number 8 and uh, so what I started doing was building some large houses, getting my population going, but uh, the as you can see you know, some of these larger houses are taking seven minutes to generate a population. And so what I ended up doing was having a couple big houses, and I ran out of time before I could build other houses on the, the land I had available. So, uh, starting number eight, what I had to really do is, is basically demolish the first house that they start trying to build, and restrict a lot of houses to size one houses. And then they'll they'll be starting to generate people that you can get to build other buildings. And then it's, then you have, a, once you have a, a couple small buildings, buildings to sort of produce people to build more buildings, then you can let them go and go build some two or three sized houses to, to be a little bit more efficient in your population. But you really need some of those small houses in the in these Battle of the Gods events now because uh, they're, they're, the, they're the only ones that really produce people quickly enough. As you can see, maybe about 15 seconds before it starts producing its first person, and, and that is critical. Otherwise, you know, as you can see, um, our population is pretty close here at this point in the game. I am just going to start uh, surpassing it because I've gotten a little bit better at doing this than the computer is, of course. Um, but I've had a few that were pretty darn tight. Uh, now, the other games that they have now in the population game, you will not be able to destroy the enemy sh city. Um, not exactly. It'll be grayed off. Uh, you won't have access to it. It uh, th And in a lot of cases, you may not even have the belief available to, do, to cast some of the higher level finger gods or meteor, uh, especially earlier on. Uh, the other maps, uh, the other game that uh, is there is the jewel collection. So there's a few maps where you have to go and collect as many jewels as you can before your uh, before the time runs out. Uh, once again, the time has been reduced significantly. So it is a lot. You know, it's it's not like okay, this is going to take an hour. Um, I'm just going to go kill the other guy because I don't really want to wait it. They've basically fixed that. It uh, now feels like a proper battle match even when you're just doing population it's like how efficiently how quickly can i get my uh city up and running uh, and, and producing more people before the end of the time now this battle that we're playing here this is an actually destroy the enemy civilization so in this particular case we will be able to send an attack but they've made a lot of changes to uh, you can no longer send swarms of your followers uh, the way it's essentially working is if you set up a active totem and you want to send some people there, uh, the maximum is like four or five people that you can send at a time. And so there's no, as you can see, I have no more flags here. Basically, the flags will only become available if I have a totem set and a place for them to go, or if there is a building nearby that needs construction. At that point, a flag will pop up. I could click on a building, they'll go and they'll build that house. Um, but as you can see, there's nothing nearby there now, so all the flags are, are gone. And uh, so you can't you can't basically just sort of have a, a slightly larger population and then just zerg all your guys into the enemy base anymore. So I, as you can see, I'm trying to keep them off the plateau here. It's going to take a couple finger of gods. Uh, they, they hit, the buildings have hit points now, and so I'm just, you know, trying to delay them, let myself build up on that central plateau. Uh, so I can use my god powers to sort of prevent them uh, from getting up there. But it is, I mean, it costs a thousand per, sh per finger of god at this point. It severely reduces the amount of damage um, that it does to building. So before, you could go wild with one cast of it and destroy half a person's city. Um, you, you're not really going to be doing that more. It's more going to be a, a point, you know, oh, get, take care of that building, take care of this. Uh, maybe a few guys got into my base, maybe try and take care of those. That is, you know, kind of where it's fitting in. I mean, there's still 
a certain amount of rush to the point where if you can get buildings close enough now as you can see I, I can now access my uh, the computer opponents base so I can actually do a little bit of spell casting on him uh, use some of my miracles and, and, and cause him some pain I'm just uh, going to be setting up a larger plateau so I have a nice a nice large population base as you can see I'm, I'm sort of surpassing here uh, we're down to about three minutes left in the game so it really is moving pretty quickly uh, these it definitely makes these a lot more tempting to play now uh, of course we got the meteor strike so we're gonna use that uh, we are <laughs> destroying the enemy civilization so why not have a few rocks from space fall on them uh, so as you can see, just keeping uh, at a cost of ten thousand per cast, it's uh, it's not something I can keep up constantly. Uh, but we are generating belief pretty quickly. So so it is you know it's a tool that that can easily be used. Uh, I think we pretty much have it in the bag now. <laughs> Look at all their guys just oh they're all on fire and they're dying. All their souls floating up to heaven. So we we might as well. You know, let's not be selective here. We want to destroy their entire civilization, not just half of it. Um, now, the one nice thing about this, uh, the way they change this around, is with the destruction of the enemy civilization, when this timer runs down, what's going to happen is I'm going to not have any control over my uh, miracles. I can still do a little, I can still modify the terrain, but it's going to lock out my meter strike, my finger of gods, and my all my other abilities, even my totems, when that time hits zero. And what's going to happen is everyone in my population is going to leave their house and they're going to go towards the center of the map. And that happens on each side, so it basically will be like a battle royale at the end of the time limit in these uh, destroy the enemy uh, civilization objectives. So I've... Um, I've made some steps to ensure that I'm going to win that phase, but basically there's now the two phases. You're going to have your build-up phase, uh, maybe a little bit of attacking. As you can see, I've you know, I've, I've pretty much ruined their their village at this point. There's uh, there's really not much hope for it now, but um, yeah, I mean that, that that's the way they've changed it a bit. Is uh, you know you can't. You can't send a horde of your guys over, you know, setting the totem on the enemy base uh, will only send like four or five of your followers now, which, you know, when they walk into an enemy base is not really going to get you very far. So you're going to be relying on either your miracles to take care of the enemy or just straight up outpopulating them enough to the point where, you know, it really, like if they attack you, you... You, you can overwhelm them. Uh, so I did want to show that uh, we're you know not going to get a whole lot of enemies in this case. There's only about eight of them left. But you'll be able to sell. I'll be able to show you. Uh, I really have no control. Once the time goes over, it um, everyone just sort of beelines towards the center of the map. And here we go. And yeah, so it's, it's basically locked everything out now. Uh, the time goes to 10 minutes. It uh, doesn't seem to have a time limit for this point. But as you see, everybody's leaving their houses and uh, they're all going to uh, head towards more or less the center. It's not even like they're going towards the enemy base because they tend to get up towards the middle of the map and just mill about a bit. Um, which can be tricky. I mean, the thing is, these guys will start dying. Uh, there's no way to keep them alive other than you know, clicking on a few, so you may be able to keep a few alive, but even if you're sort of evenly matched, uh, potentially, I, I mean, if you, you set up uh, just using land sculpting so that you're and the either the either your followers couldn't get to the enemy or vice versa, or you prevent the enemies from getting to you, you, um, you'll be able to use that and uh, you know maybe use some land sculpting too. Maybe try and restrict their movements, help kill them, uh, prevent, delay them long enough so that uh, they'll die of starvation before they hit your your troops. I, I guess there's a, a bit of strategy. I mean, there's still. I mean, let's be honest. Like the the, the guys are pretty dumb. They have real not much in the way of AI. Uh, they're really just they're just milling about and if they see an enemy sort of within a very short range of them they'll attack but otherwise 
uh, that's pretty much it. So they're all dead, and uh, we got some cards, which uh, which is great. They help us out. We got some more multiplayer opponent cards. Now they've added a few more uh, types of cards. Uh, there's now mahogany, uh, copper. Uh, I've gotten gold cards. Um, some different types of stone. So I'm guessing that's going to be providing some different types of building materials in the future. Now, as you can see, the um, our little beachville here has uh, basically had to create those farms inside the settlement. So when you do that, when you have some empty lots, lots within a settlement, once you've unlocked the farming, um, we're not seeing the flag on the town right yet, but when you do see the flag on the settlement, you click it, now it will produce farmers, which will go out and build farms instead of houses from your settlement. So that's basically the main change that's uh, been affected at this point. So, I think this is a, a pretty good spot to leave it. I'm going to keep my eyes open on, on the Goddess updates. We're going to see how it goes. Currently, I mean, the... They made some really great improvements. I really like what I'm seeing. I like the progress they're making. It's still terribly slow, like really, really bad. I, okay, for example, the latest, the largest house that I can now build is called a manor. It's a size six house, and it takes 11 hours to build. 11 hours! I mean, literally, it's literally, okay, I'm going to set that up, I'm going to turn the game off, I'm going to go to sleep, and the next day, I'll be able to go and check to see if my house is built. I don't understand why, it doesn't make sense, but that is, um, I mean, I'm hoping maybe that the timing is going to be improved as they continue to develop it, but as it stands now, I mean, seriously, this game needs to be sped up by a long time long way <laughs> but um yeah so i think this is a good point to leave it at this point thanks for watching i'm sean kenny playing goddess so long for now